Today, we're going to talk about Mostar. Mostar is a beautiful city in Bosnia, and it's the closest you can get to the Muslim culture in all of Europe. In fact, the sheer quantity of mosques in the city of Mostar frequently astounds Western visitors. Mostar, which was historically a nexus of cultures between Christian Europe and the Muslim Middle East, retains a rich blend of influences. The city is filled with polished cobbled streets lined with Turkish-styled bazaars. The city's skyline is dominated by mirinets and church steeples. Mostar doesn't even quite feel European. It's as far apart from Paris or even Venice in terms of atmosphere and ambiance as Istanbul is. In fact, there are times when walking through the Old Town streets that make you think you're in Turkey, even in Europe. It's one of the most intriguing spots to visit in Bosnia. To know more about this city, stick till the end of the video so your bucket list gets to have another fine addition. Now, let's talk about the top five things that you can do while you're here. Number five, Starry Most, Old Bridge. Being Mostar's most renowned site, Starry Most should be the first spot that you need to visit. Get a map of the Mostar Old Town by first stopping at the Visitor Center. You'll find the Visitor Center on the western bank of the Nerverta River. The bridge was built in 1566 by Mimar Hajarudin, a student of the renowned Sinan, who was regarded as the founder of classic Ottoman architecture. It was a humpbacked arch that was 4 meters wide, 30 meters long, and had a 27-meter opening. In the summer, it was 20 meters above the highest watermark. The Halapshia Tower on the right bank and the Terra Tower on the left bank, both fortified towers from the 17th century, stood on either side of the bridge. The bridge was so firm in strength that the Nazis' tanks could easily pass through it during the Second World War. The bridge was mostly in danger of eroding before it was destroyed in 1993. According to legends, egg white proteins and metal pins held the bridge together. They added that on the day the construction was completed and the scaffolding was to be pulled down, Mimar Hirujan, the bridge's architect, prepared for its funeral. For 427 years, the bridge remained in pristine condition. It was destroyed on November 9, 1993, during the Bosnian and Herzegovina War. After the war, it was determined to rebuild the bridge using the same materials and technology in an effort to keep it as identical as possible. The old bridge contributed to the growth and prosperity of the community. This building was in a perfect state of conversion prior to the start of military hostilities in the town. The bridge is one of the most unquestionable attractions of the entire Balkan region. Just seeing this renowned Bosnian bridge is worth the trip to Mostar. Number 4. Old Bazaar in Mostar Mostar developed at the intersection of trade routes throughout the Middle Ages and served as the region's main market. On congested streets at the time, more than 500 craft shops operated. Jewelers, goldsmiths, and metal chasers, or Koi Anjish in Bosnian, dominated them. Hence, given the name of Koi Anjuk, the trading district, in the 16th century, construction started, displacing individual artisan neighborhoods and entire streets. The trade business for weavers, tanners, and gunsmiths were opened right away. Despite having drastically shrunk, the town has kept its Asian flair and trading customs to this day. Everything from handmade carpets, fabrics, and ethnic clothing to copper coffee pots and plates, taste paintings, leather goods, and decorative objects are available for purchase here. Antiques and contemporary crafts are visible nearby. During the Ottoman era, it was once the beating center for business for the entire region. Even with the changes brought on by the passage of time, the road has preserved its historic exterior, highlighted by the constant presence of mosques and modest inns, as well as some of its most distinctive crafts including the hammering of copper and the weaving of carpets. The Old Bazaar, along with the Old Bridge, unquestionably the main draw of the entire neighborhood. 
serves as a defining representation of Mostar's architecture and daily life, as evidenced by the bustle of the workshops, the little eateries where you can eat for around a dollar, and other aspects. The bazaar is constantly crowded and energetic. Many people travel instead to experience the true spirit of antiquity rather than commerce. However, they do not depart empty-handed because it is impossible to resist such a selection. Although they are calm and polite, the traders in this oriental bazaar have a European demeanor. Number 3. Kriva Kuprisha, Crooked Bridge of Mustar There is another historic bridge in Mostar, the Kriva Kuprisha, the Crooked Bridge. In addition to the starry most, Old Bridge, a true icon of the town that was destroyed in 1993. It crosses the right bank tributary of the Narota River, known as Rababozva Creek. The Crooked Bridge is actually eight years older, even though it is less well-known and smaller than its famed companion. It is believed to have been a prototype for the later, more difficult-to-build bridge. Kriva Kuperja is a small, one-arc stone bridge with a similar design to the Starry Most. The arc measures 8.56 meters in width and 4.15 meters in height. Regular stone cubes have been incorporated into the horizontal layers all the way along the vault to create the frontage and vault. Stone that is cracked fills the space between the footpath, frontal walls, and vault. Like the main roads in town, the footpath over the bridge and the streets close by are cobblestone paved. People can climb stone steps on either side of the bridge. The bridge that you can see was rebuilt after the destruction of the original one in the 2001 flood. The crooked bridge is blissfully empty, while the old bridge is typically crowded, allowing you to easily admire the engineering marvel of the past. Number 2. Visit Mosques in Mostar there are plenty of mosques in Mostar that beautify its architecture and are worth a visit. The Koski Mehmed Pashka Mosque, on a two-minute walk from the Starry Most, should be visited for more than just the view from the minaret. The mosque is one of the best examples of the Ottoman architecture in Mostar, constructed at the start of the 17th century. The mosque's interior is incredibly stunning, with vibrant colors throughout. It suffered significant damage during the Balkan War, but it has since been repaired and is even more pleasing to the eye now. Even though the Koski Mehmed Pasha Mosque is the most well-known mosque in the city, there are a few more Islamic temples in Mostar that are worth visiting. The largest mosque in the area, Karazov Bey Mosque from the 16th century has an impressive dome. When visiting, keep in mind that this mosque is still in use so make sure you stay cautious of all regulations and prayer time. Nazir Agina Mosque, which is close to the Crooked Bridge, is another mosque that attracts attention. So whether you want to closely observe the Islamic culture or simply admire the architecture, these mosques will provide you with just the right visuals that you need. Number 1. Dervish Monastery in Blaglav One of Bosnia's and and Herzegovina most remarkable tourist destinations, the monastery at Blagav, which is only a short distance from Mostar, astounds visitors with its wonderful natural surroundings. The modest Ottoman-era structure is located at the base of a massive cliff, where the Buna River flows toward the Navurta after emerging from a secret cave and passing over a little crescent-shaped waterfall. It is thought that the stunningly blue water that flows by the monastery has mysterious qualities. The dervish monastery from the 16th century is tucked away at the foot of a sheer rock face. The dervish, a mystic sect of Surfi Islam, renowned for ceremonies that entail various forms of spinning, constructed the monastery in 1520. The monastery was regarded as a tikjia, or tiki, a location for introspection and spiritual retreat. Even the most agnostic tourists cannot resist succumbing to its calming effect due to the grandeur of the monastery itself and its spectacular setting, the stillness of the adjacent village, and the tranquil sounds of rushing water. The meeting prayer chamber of the Tiki exhibits Turkish Baroque elements, 
and is the only monument in Bosnia constructed in that style. And that's quite vivid in the wooden ceiling. A cafe with a view of the water is currently housed in a magnificent specimen of Ottoman architecture, making it the ideal location for a leisurely lunch. The monastery is open to visitors of all faiths and ideologies, and they are free to stay there for as long as they desire. This is a serene location that should be fully experienced, rather than just another spot to cross off of a list. You'll get to see a lot of things in Bosnia and Herzegovina that serve as reminders of the Balkan War. Of course, you might completely disregard that and concentrate on the modern Mostar attractions, like dining, shopping, and photography, but that's not what you should stick to. Learning about the history of the area will help you enjoy the trip better. Therefore, along with the modern Mostar travel, visit the Mostar War photo exhibition as well while you're there. Now that you're familiar that this city has a lot to offer, and it's not a crowded, touristy place that will overwhelm you, do you plan on visiting it? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, where to next?